Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I like that colour. It's a beauty. Righty. Oh, pretty little daisies. So, today, well, right now, I'm currently walking around uh, the customer's garden just looking for some big stones. Um, oh, ho, ho, ho. hello you. What is this? That is some, is that a big stone? Good size. Shame that is concrete. We'll have a look. Oh, let's have a look. That's a nice one. That's a very nice one. But yeah, so what I'm doing is just, uh, I've dug out the wall so far. Well, I'll show you anyway when I go back to the wall. But long story short, I'm just looking for some uh, chunky bay stones, basically, because uh, the dry stone repair I'm doing pretty much was just a single face wall. It had no heart in nothing and not really, ow, um, you know, not really a base to it. So I'm just, oh, I'm just having a look around. But I'll take any off a natural wall um, to see if I could find any. But oh, what's this? That doesn't really look. Is that stone? Is that stone? No, that's not stone. It is stone. But I'm not using that. It's got got the right face actually. But as you can sort of see, <laughs> it's not really got a back. But I suppose I could uh, beat that off and then just use that as a bit of a sausage. But there's some uh, lovely building, lovely building stone. Look at that, lovely and flat, no cracks. That's lovely stuff here, actually. Look, slivers. So at least I've got some heart in as well, because that was the thing I was going to say as well. The wall I've took down, literally at the back of it, is no heart in. So this is a uh, god, godsend. Lovely jubbly. Well, at least I got that, and even a cheeky wheelbarrow there as well to help transport it. But yeah, I'm going to carry on looking. Well, I'm going to go grab these two from over here uh, for the base. And then, uh, yeah, going to go back down to the wall. It's not too far, like, but it's enough. Um, yeah, I think there's a big pile there, actually, look. Yeah, so going to get a load of base down, and then I'm going to smash on with the base, get building, and, uh, yeah, job will be a good one. But, uh, whoa, yeah, just, yeah, man, what a start to the day. What a day. Just don't rain. Don't rain. Oh, Casually climb over the stone mountain. Righty. Oh, yesterday got this dug out. Um, done it as best I could. It is absolutely solid from like a third up, if you know what I mean. You can see the little taint of the soil there. Um, but yeah, so I've dug out to realistically what I've got stone wise. So as you can see there, that's like the path I've got to leave. This is a uh, pretty much ground height. So I've gone across and I've gone down about, probably about, I don't know, 150 I'd say, uh, 150 mil, just, uh, just to get in as much as possible. I know there's something about this is getting brought up after it's getting uh, damp proofed or whatever, but anyway, that's just a separate thing. But yeah, so I've uh, dug a little trench, like I said, about 150 deep. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, just go through the stone. I've just, uh, collected these ones here, uh, from the garden. So boff, boff, boff. If I need to go a little bit wider, I will. But as long as I just get the sort of foundation stones in, uh, that's all I'm basically worried about today. Uh, I just want to get a good base in. I just want to get sort of like a, a foot from the floor from this bit, like, so a foot up. Um, just so that will lock into it, you know, and then uh, we can go from there. But yeah, a lot of stuff's come out. Um, this is what I was saying earlier um, when I was collecting the stone about pretty much, well, I think this side's actually better. This is, uh, you know, it's it's pretty much a single face wall, what was, which was already there. And then, uh, you know, there's no sort of heart in behind it or anything. So when I build up, I'm going to be filling this with a uh, heart in. So luckily... Like I said a minute ago, 
up there there is a massive pile of stone basically so uh i can uh get it all packed out and get it hearted hearting is basically when you lay a stone it fills in the gap space so when you're building up realistically um if you got i'm quite tight here i personally would not want to go any smaller than this width but this is really you know really this is all i've got to play with because there'll be a lot of soil coming out of there if i take any more of that away that is just going to collapse and that is a big bank and it's just going to create a bigger job which sort of needs to be if you know what i mean um so i'm quite tight with this but i would never go any smaller if you know what i mean with the depth uh, big is always better if you can do it but like i say i've got a few little factors like this cheeky fence post and like the you know the soil and that um which you know i just don't want any more collapsing because it's yeah like i say this is going to turn into a much bigger job than it needs to be like but yeah so i've gone i i sort of go off what stone i've got so if you see that i know that's going to go in there so it's it's like i say it's better to go wider but um for this one you know it's not exactly the highest wall so this will be all right, but as I go up, I will be uh, putting in stone in behind. So that's what the hearting is, basically. Uh, it sort of hearts the wall. It is the heart of the wall. It's actually a very, 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 very important factor of uh, dry stone walling. Because at the end of the day, if there's uh, if you don't have the hearting, uh, it basically, like, I, I like to sort of say it as like, when you lay a stone, you'll see anyway in the video, but when, when I lay a stone, it fills the air gaps, basically. So realistically, in the wall, with a dry stone wall, you don't really want... The less air and the less space you've got in the wall, the better, basically. Um, so where there is air should be stone. A vital part of dry stone walling is that hearting because as you're building it, you're putting in the stones. It's like Tetris, basically. You're filling in every gap you can with stone. So as that's come out, I hopefully don't really, because this is quite tight, I don't want that going back in. I want that. I want stone going back in here now. Um, there's a massive lump there, which I might take out, but I'll just see how I go, but it is, it is literally stone. Uh, so I've tried hacking at it, but, uh, it would have been nice because you can sort of see it. it's quite a wide channel and it sort of goes in a little bit, but if I can get a big one in to sort of marry up to that, I'll be happy with that. And then I'll just sort of clean off the surface, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, let's get a cracker lack in. Let's get a base down and, uh, yeah, let's just actually get some stone laid. Instead of standing here and talking about it, eh? <laughs> anyway, let's crack on.
Righty, we are, oh, slowly, we are getting there. So, about, I don't know really, what's that, a fifth? About a fifth, about a fifth, yeah, about a fifth of the way up. Um, I am pretty much not even worried about what this looks like, because as you can see, um, <laughs> I don't think it's ever actually going to be sort of stood there and looked at. Well, if I look at this bit here, that's what I can see. So, you know, there's my belly. Uh, not really going to get down on your knees. Well, I can't even actually bend down. So anyway, it's not about that. I think with dry stone anyway, there will be uh, a natural look uh, which comes to it. But what I'm saying is because I'm quite limited with stone, um, I'm not going to be dressing, um, you know, like bits like that, really. You know, normally, you you know, you dress that, bring that up whatever but i'm not even going to be bothered like i'm just sort of making sure that the stone's healthy so it's got no cracks um let me go to that angle it's yeah so it's got no cracks and it's safe basically because if you look out here uh i am getting a bit low on stone um so that is pretty much what i've got i know i've got this pile here there's some bits down there but uh that is pretty much heart in this i've got the odd chunky bit um but yeah so that's going to be quite fun because i've got quite a long way to go really uh, this is what I mean about like how um, they call it chaser stones, basically. It's when like you do get it now and then. Um, obviously, I do it when you're using like mortar or whatever. Obviously, a mortar ball, you get away with it because you've got the mortar. But on a dry stone, basically, everything should be tails in. So like the longest part of the stone going into the, the wall um, or bank if you're doing a retaining, whatever. But like this, as you can sort of see, pretty much every single one is going in. I suppose you could maybe argue... Like that one there it's probably like i don't know a centimeter longer that way that basically is a trace stone because it's longer that way than it is that way and you don't really want that in a dry stone basically you want everything tails in uh just so it's stronger basically that is pretty much it uh there's the hearting which i was going on about earlier so what i need to do now is beat up some beat up some of the heart in to make smaller heart in to then fill in these gaps because so I, I try and do like a couple of uh courses and then i'll literally heart the life out of it but now we're getting good you can sort of see now the width you know in comparison with what you know was there so that heart and pile is going down because that was pretty much level with that you know at the start of the day but yeah we're getting there we're getting there so it's going to keep uh hearting for today and then uh, I might try and get this level. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be a good base then. I suppose, actually, nearing nearing a quarter, I suppose. But like I say, we've got about, I don't know, probably about 20% of the stone left. So I'm going to have to get uh, my skates on and uh, get going. But uh, no, we're doing all right. Doing all right, actually. Like I say, when I did the base, um, as you can sort of see, it's a bit wider. But as long as the base is always wider... I should have really put a line down, but I don't know if you uh, eagle-eyed viewers saw earlier. I didn't put a line down because I just basically totally forgot and uh, <coughs> I was just being lazy. But uh, yeah, so I'm just sort of working with what batter is here already. This has got a nice batter. This is a bit battered, should I say. So I might actually take that little section out because if you look down here, look, it's just going in. Um, so when I get to about there, I'll put my line a bit further down because this batter here is pretty much what I want to follow. It's nice, that. So, uh, And then uh, with this, I'm just taking out what I can. But same again, it's got a load of cement. So that ain't going to go anywhere. Well, for a minute. But what I'm doing is scraping out the soil and chucking hearting in as I go up. Um, but yeah, there's no... when you build sections as well, this is another thing. Uh, this is a very straight line. But as this is mortared, there's no way I'm going to... I will... I'm, I'm trying my best to knock out some stones like i've done there that one or two of these are loose um but i'm not going to knock out any big ones because I, I ain't going to take much of that to go basically so i don't want to sort of make any vibrations but when you do sort of you know these section rebuilds you really want to knit it in um so it's like imagine like a zip you know you want to be like you know knitted into the wall so obviously taking out the odd stone and then putting a new one in but on this side, I'll try my best, but, you know, it's going to be quite hard. This side's not too bad. Um, I'm going to try and take out one or two of these. Same again with this, but this is actually, well, some of these down there is mortared. But once I get to this point, this is all dry light. So I've got a little bit. I might sort of just take out the odd one, like these two stackers here. 
take them out, you know what I mean? And just, uh, yeah, just get like either a bigger one and just uh, knit it in, basically. But anyway, I'm going to carry on with that heart in. And, uh, yeah, that'll probably be it for today, I expect. Um, I might, like I say, try and get this line level. <coughs> just use up what I've got here. And then, uh, like I say, I've got a bit of time. I might go look for some stone just so I've got a nice meaty pile over there and then i can get crack and lacking tomorrow so anyway thank you very much for watching take care and i will see you in a bit